the triangle uh, triangles have the three sides first we need to write there is a three sides okay and the three angle also okay now the type of the triangle is first one is scalene triangle there is a we are just seeing about the type scalene triangle okay the second one is isosceles triangle third one is equilateral triangle yes equilateral triangle lateral triangle okay and we know that on the basis of the measurement we have two different type of the triangles okay acute acute angle triangle right angle triangle obtuse angle triangle okay first we need to uh, discussing about the scalene triangle what is it scalene triangle okay scalene triangle is uh, there is a different faces okay we have all the length yes. uh, are different yes we need to just uh, show like this scalene triangle a b and c we are just writing this all sides are all sides are not equal and the three angles okay we can write like this three angles okay now we are just uh, how to find the perimeter this is the very simple okay we how to find the perimeter this is the very simple so a plus b plus c okay now how to find the area is it is not in your syllabus but i want to explain everything okay first you need to find the semi perimeter okay semi perimeter semi perimeter means abhi half of the perimeter okay yes sir yes you know one of the formula it is in the ninth class the formula name is hero's formula hero's formula okay we can uh, write like this there is a formula to find out the area of the scalene triangle there is a hero's formula what is this formula then if you find the semi perimeter first step is semi perimeter a plus b plus c by 2 okay and divided by 2 you got semi perimeter means half of the perimeter simple second you need to just apply the formula of area okay this is in bracket in the square root okay s s minus a okay s minus b and s minus c this is the formula by using this formula you are able to solve the questions this is all about the scalene triangle now here we need to discuss the isosceles triangle how to find the area of isosceles triangle okay you can apply this formula also in the isosceles triangle but uh, we have different type of different method see
थर्ड साइड इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम टू साइड to find out the perimeter we need to apply the rule first we need to write the properties here have four angles okay have four sides and two sides are equal sides are equal okay and one side is different from the other two sides to find out the perimeter we know that the perimeter is sum of all the sides a plus a plus b what we get a plus b to find the area if the it form the figure like this let me explain here we can apply the which one heron's formula is equal to base into height apply the heron's formula also and that is a right angle properties let me explain how to find this if there is a altitude inside the triangle you are able to find the area Altitude means there is a ninety degree. Okay, this is the source, the ninety degree, and this is the base, and this is some height. Okay, that means in this case you are just right like this one upon two into what base into height. height. Yes, yes, one upon two base is B. And height is what? H. Okay. Yes. Sir. The right angle. Uh, this is the property is different from this. This is the right angle triangle. Okay. Okay, now the last formula and the last figure is about here we discussing. That one is the equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. What is equilateral triangle? All, all the sides, sides are, are equal, equal. and yes. uh, uh, angles are also equal are also equal that means this side is equals to a a and a the properties is what first one is all sides are are equal okay and second properties is angles are equal okay got it yes sir yes now the here we are talking about the perimeter how to find the perimeter sum of all the sides means 3a how to find the area we have to just taking the formula here root 3 by 4 into a into a got it root 3 by 4 a square okay uh, this is all about the figure and the 
मैंसुरेशन पार्ट 